What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Bald and the Bearded. I'm Robbie, joined along with... Jacob. Actually, cut. Let's see if you pick it up. I forgot about something. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, exciting stuff. PS5 had their conference. We still have no idea what the prices are for either console. Um, if you're on the Bob and the Beard of Facebook page, I did share a pretty funny meme uh, that kind of goes along with that. Um, so we don't know the prices, but we did get what the PS5 will look like. Jacob, you are the PS4, the PlayStation guy on this podcast. I have one. I'm on it a little bit. Not as much as you. What did you think of the PlayStation 5? Uh, well, it clearly looks a lot different. Yes. Uh, kind of looks like Cell from Dragon Ball Z, if it was if it was green. I get that. I get that. I can see that. Or Kayaba from, uh... Oh my gosh, it was that trading card game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Because he had the the collar that came up like that. It is an interesting design. Um, different than any one we've seen. It kind of has that straight, but it kind of contours in. I think contour is the word. I like to call it the cone. Right. A lot of people are reminiscing it back to the Xbox 360 because if you remember, it had a similar... Yeah, like an hourglass kind Right. Of thing. Like it had that little sexy lady hourglass curve to it, you know. Um, yeah, but the colors, colors are different because we've had the traditional black console. You know, it's, it's all around different. It's not a bad different. I, I like it. I like where it's going. Um, any other thoughts on how it looks aesthetically pleasing to you or not like it? What? I mean, I don't really care what the console looks like. That's true. Uh, as, as long as, as it runs good and yeah. everything. I mean, I, obviously that, I know it's going to have a, a better graphics card in it. I've seen a lot of games uh, that are announced for the PS5. Right. Now, what we also got was there's going to be a PlayStation 5 with a disk drive, and there's going to be a PlayStation 5 without the disk drive. Um, obviously, the one without the disk drive is going to be a lot cheaper, most likely. Uh, the rumors that are going around with the... The disc list, disc drive list PlayStation 5 is that it's not going to be as powerful as the other one, which is why they're going to... I have a feeling the base Xbox console is going to be cheaper than the PlayStation. So they did the one without the disc drive to kind of make up for that. So you'll have one that's going to be a little bit higher than the Xbox and one that's going to be a little bit cheaper. Um... We'll see. We don't know for sure what's going to come out until everything is finalized. But the gameplay. The gameplay. Some of the games that came out look so good. Uh, we'll start with Spider-Man. Because you played the uh, the first Spider-Man game that came out on PlayStation, right? Did you ever beat it or did you only play it a little bit? The Marvel one? Yeah, the Spider-Man. I actually just beat it the other day. On the PlayStation? Yeah. Such a good game. Probably... The best superhero game um, that I have ever played, um, and I've played just about all of them. Uh, it was stunning, and now we're getting to go back into the world as Miles Morales. Miles is, and I, I love the original Spider-Man, but Miles is a lot cooler um, than normal Spider-Man because he has... He can go invisible. He has the uh, the shock ability and everything like that. And you got to see him jump around, do some of his parkour, kicking some bad guys' butts. Uh, I just, I'm excited that we get to go back into this world. I hope, kind of like how we got to play as um, Mary, Mary Jane. Jane in that PlayStation game. Maybe there'll be a part where we can play as the original Spider-Man. Or I want to see maybe team up with the original Spider-Man or something in that game. Um, but, I mean, I'm just, I'm stoked to see it. Um, like I said, I've always, I love superheroes and I love the game. So, what were your thoughts on uh, the Spider-Man Miles Morales? Uh, in the Marvel game? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't remember much of it because I played that a long time ago. There's, there's a new one coming out. Oh, is there? It's going to be the Miles Miles Morales. Oh, yeah, because he got bit, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I mean, it'll be different, you know, than playing as Peter Parker, obviously. Right. Uh, clearly, I have to have, you know, a decent storyline. If it follows the path of this game, I, I, don't, I think it'll be pretty good. Right, because this, the Spider-Man game, the one that you just beat, uh, was kind of groundbreaking a little bit in that area. Like, it was just so good um i need to get back on it and play the expansions because i i mean i devoured that game i beat it i beat that thing before we even moved out of your dad's house like before we <laughs> me and holly even got me like we were i devoured it uh and i'm pretty sure i'll do the same with this one um have you ever played any of the resident evil games uh yeah a long time ago well we are getting the next edition which is resident evil 8 I cannot, for the life of me, remember what they called it, but we're getting a new Resident Evil game. Um, it's going to be, I love scary games, so we're going to get to jump back into that eerie, creepy world and be able to see all the craziness, because there's always going to be some type of crazy zombie or crazy people that you got to deal with in those games. So I'm excited to get to revisit that world. Um... Did you, have you seen or heard anything of the new Resident Evil game? Or I haven't seen anything about it yet. Okay, because um, I did actually get try to play the Resident Evil Five game, which is when they started branching into letting you play with somebody else. Resident Evil Five came back, came out on like the old, um, I think it was three hundred and sixty, uh, and I will say that game does not age well. When you go to aim your gun. You can't walk or move anymore. You are stationary. So if you have a horde of zombies and you have to shoot something, <laughs> you can't even slowly, sh you can't shoot and back up. Nope, you're just, you're stuck right there. So didn't age well. Um, I actually, for the first time, I did not play, um, I missed a Resident Evil game. I missed 7, which was like the new breath of fresh air into the Resident Evil game, so I will have to go back and play that one before this one comes out, but I've always enjoyed the Resident Evil games. Um, have you, did you get to watch any of the PlayStation conference or hear of any other games or anything that came out on it? Oh, uh, no, I didn't watch any of it. I was at work. I know, I was at work too, so I could only go back and watch a couple of trailers here and there, but um, overall, it was good. We got to see some, um, some third-party games, some indie games that are going to be coming out for the PlayStation. So it's definitely going to be uh, interesting to see um, what else they're going to have for us by the time the PS5 uh, launches, which, you know, is going to be holiday of this year, of 2020. Thank God we're going to have some bright spots in the year of 2020. <laughs> um, and having the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 being released are going to be those bright spots because God, we need one. Um, that's about all I have for the PS5, the PlayStation conference. Um, some news that I did get. You watched the uh, Daredevil Netflix show, correct? Uh, parts of it, yeah. Um, super awesome. Like that whole, except for mm -hmm. Iron Fist, they were all really good. Um, enjoyed those shows. Disney got the rights to the Netflix um, Daredevil show. So we might be seeing that come back, which is extremely exciting to me because I love that world. If they can fix Iron Fist, Iron Fist and fix the Defenders, like when they all come together um, and form the Defenders, hopefully they can because the Punisher was great. Um, Daredevil was great. Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, great. Iron Fist kind of sucked. The Defenders sucked. Um, so hopefully we can get some good stuff there, but we will have to see. Uh, do you have anything else, my friend? Not offhand. Okay. Well, that has been our little insight to the uh, PlayStation Conference and a little bit of Disney Plus news. Um, obviously, we didn't get everything that cover everything that play, the conference had, but uh, stay tuned to the uh, Facebook page. Um, and I'll be sharing the links to some of the uh, gameplay videos and everything like that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for sticking around with us. Um, hope you have a great day. This has been Robbie. And Jacob. Have a great day.